Hey boys and girls, Scott Turdish here with another episode of the G3 Sportsman. Been tough getting episodes lately, I apologize, but as you know on the, you see on the news of the weather or whatever with these storms and tornadoes and flooding, rains and the high water, it's tough. And I'm sitting around, because I've had plenty of time to sit around other than mowing, <laughs> thinking, man, I want to catch a walleye. I want to put my deep V Angler Series G3 out there and do what a lot of people seem to think that these boats are built for was for walleye fishing. Now you all know that this boat is the best all around boat. I've been preaching that forever because it's just a wonderful boat. But wanted to catch a couple of walleye. Best place I could go in more or less the spur of the moment was down at Beaver Lake. Called my buddy Rance Carter with Huck Finn Guide Service. He said, come on down, can't guarantee a bunch but we'll find some walleye. So that's what we're gonna to do today. We're gonna to head down there, try to catch a few. Who knows what else we'll catch, but we're going after walleye. thing I like about these boats, see you're setting up. You're not sitting like in a bathroom. Oh yeah, no. You're no. still sitting up. I like that I could see comfortably. Was, this is a really, really comfortable, this would be a really great boat for just about any family. That's what I mean. Or, and this is just 17. This is. Look how wide it, it is. It handles like a big boat. It <laughs> feels good. It feels good. It is. It's a, I love this boat. It took those big wakes like it was nothing. nothing. What do we, uh, I'm sorry, we're, we're bragging on we're bragging on the, on our boat here. Okay, so what's our plan here? What are we looking for? All right, so what I'm looking for is I'm looking at the ledge. Right now we're checking. The walleye here have been holding in the 18 to 28 feet range, pretty consistent. We're in 29 feet of water. Oh, they right here. You see them all? Yeah. All right, let's go, let's go catching. Okay, well that didn't take long. <laughs> okay, so you can see All you walleye guys know that that's it right there, the big night crawlers. And I'm gonna tell you something, here in the Ozarks, we got wall hanging night crawlers, buddy. We've got them. That's fish on. Let's see what we're looking at here. Well, we should start seeing color at some point here. Uh, he's out there 80, oh, okay. 90 well, I, feet. This one was 40 feet over here, so you were dragging that one a little farther back. Uh, he stripped. He stripped 40 feet. So. Oh wow. Well, I'm okay. inclined to think. It's a striper or something? Hmm. All right, Scott, he wants to come left. So will you pull that back rod? Let me come over or underneath of you. There you go. Okay. Slide him right back. Okay. Let's see what we're looking at here. Now this one. It's, uh, I'm coming on to you. Let's see which side he's on. He's on the outside, so come underneath of me. Got him? Yeah. Well done. Here we go. On a night crawler. On a night crawler. Get that out of his jaw there. There we go. Nice little striper. This lake is full of these. I've done three or four shows in the past catching stripers over here, and that's this lake is just full of them. That's what it's famous for. But we are after walleye, so we're gonna put this bad boy back. And down he goes, man. That wasn't too shabby. It wasn't the right kind, but. You know, but it was fun. It was very fun. You wanna see what we're using here? I okay. did three beads, night crawler, and a gamagatsu mosquito hook, I believe is what that is. It's a really great setup. <coughs> 
Okay, we hadn't been out here that long. We've caught one fish. We're still going after walleye. Well, we may catch everything in the lake but a walleye, but you know what, we're still gonna have fun. So regardless, if we don't catch a walleye, then so be it, we're gonna catch fish. And it's gonna be another glorious day down here in the Ozarks fishing. Beaver Lake is uh, a phenomenal fishery. It's a beautiful area located in the heart of the Ozark Mountains here in Northwest Arkansas. Beaver Lake is one of the few fisheries in the area that allows us to have a really versatile opportunity to get lots of different fish, trout, crappie, walleye, catfish, striper, and you can get a multi-bag, multi-species bag all in the same day. It's a, uh, it's been absolutely amazing out here this year and it's only getting better. Oh, oh. Fish on? Yes. Got him? Yeah. Into the water. That feels pretty good, doesn't it? It does. How about the net? We're gonna need a net. I like it when he says, you're going There's to... your walleye. Nice walleye. That looks like dude. a walleye. It does look like a walleye. I can see color. It's the right color. That's a striper. Is it a striper? It's a striper. Oh, it is. Well, okay. Stripers two. I saw a thought up maybe like a green tint. It but, did. But it was actually... That is the cutest net ever. Well, it's actually my crappie net. <laughs> this is a good striper net. But it does work for a striper. Okay. And once again, people, I promise you, we are, we are walleye fishing. Get that out of there for you. He's a girl. We are, we are walleye fishing, but this is turning in to a dandy little striper show. So, hey, you know how I roll, man. If uh, we start out one thing and it goes to another, then that's what the show is. But right now we're catching fish, second spot, second striper. I'm we did have a couple of little, um, couple of walleye hits, so we know they're here. So let's just stay tuned and we'll see if we can catch one, but we'll let this one go. It looked like striper or a walleye. Yeah. It looked just like a walleye. He turned. I got that green flash. I, I like, thought it was a green flash too. I did. I, I was, swear I saw green too. I was all excited. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. All right. So what we're doing here is we're hitting some little underwater points that are running along this this area. They're gravel points with a little bit of chunk rock, and there's some wood cover scattered across through here and the walleye are staging along these points in 18 to 24 feet of water. I've got a finish. Yeah. Okay. What have we got now? We're about to see it. What do we got? Take a half step back. There's a big walleye, it looks like. Hey, so, hey, hey. You land that fish, big boy. I'm walking him to you. Walking him to you. Look at here. Look at here. Who was the boy that catches the walleye? The rookie. That's the mark of a good guide when he catches the stripers and then lets me catch the walleye. Thank you. You are so welcome. <laughs> you I know. If he slack, that dude was not hanging out. There you go. You got him? They got teeth. What's I know. Up, oh, I know. Look at there. That's a dang good walleye any way you slice it, boys. So especially down here. That's a really nice walleye. That's uh, about a 16, 17, 18? Uh, I'd say we can measure him, but that looks like a 19. Okay. Almost a I like 19 better. There you go, boys. That's what you can expect down here on Beaver Lake. 
catching these walleye light here. We had to kind of milk through a little striper action or whatever, but hey, we may be on a pattern right here. So we're gonna see if we can catch us another one. So we're gonna take a couple pictures and uh, take a little break and then we'll be right back with some more walleye action so, with Huck Finn Guide Service on Beaver Lake in Arkansas. You know, another thing that I like about these DB series anglers that we make, you don't have to have the biggest one in order to have a lot of boat. You know, I run a 17 foot boat and that boat is big. Anybody that's ever got in it is just like, wow, I cannot believe how big this boat is. This boat fishes like it's 20 foot. Well, it's eight foot across, so it's pretty wide. It's a big old football, even Rance. He, first time he ran it, he was just like, wow, that surprised me. Today, Mr. Scott Turnage brought a uh, 70 foot angler, uh, and it has been a pleasure to drive this around the lake today. It handles like you just, like it's on rails. Takes the waves. We had some pretty stiff wind today. It was a little bit of a challenge while we were out here chasing the walleye. This boat took them with ease. At no point did I feel unstable. The boat just absolutely rock star. Four. I try to average. I'm not looking for great I think fish. I got a good fish right here. shall see. That's right. Keep pressure on him because that last good walleye I caught Oops, just come out of its mouth. So let's see. Walleye. Yep. Another good one. Get that fish. Got him. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Nice, nice, nice. Very nice. Tell you what, walleye fishing over here, boys, in Arkansas. I mean, we pretty much have tried to get the same type of conditions as you Michigan boys, Wisconsin boys, Minnesota boys. We've had 15 to 20. You know, we may not have the big rollers and all this other stuff, but we've definitely had some wind. Wanted to get out here in our deep B angler. Dry, fun, first time you oh, yeah. ever rode one. Super Great. smooth, super fun, smooth, buddy. very. We've had no problems. We've had me and me and Rance in here, Wes running the camera. We hadn't bumped into each other, nothing. Catching these walleye right here. Look at that. How about that right there? You know, I don't think Beaver Lake gets the credit that the other lakes in the area get. And, and I think it's really one of the hidden gems. I mean, that thing, you can crappie fish there, catch walleye, stripers, bass. They've had FLW tournaments there or whatever. I mean, it's a great lake. It's, it's one of those lakes where you don't have a whole lot of houses, where there's not a lot of docks out there. So it still looks a lot like it was when it was formed. You check out the Deep V Angler Series of G3. And if you ever get to Arkansas, you want to do some walleye fishing, striper fishing, whatever, because you know he can catch them, you see right here, Huck Finn Guide Service, Rance Carter. He's got a big old G3, 22-foot bay boat that'll accommodate families and anybody that wants to come fish with him. He's a super guy. He's a veteran. He's got great stories, and he's a fun guy to be around. But that's all the time we got for this week's episode. Remember, keep what you can use, release the rest, and we'll see you somewhere next time right here on the G3 Sportsman. Thanks for watching. Thank you, sir. Like we practiced it. I think I'm going to just give you the remote more often. We should have been doing that all day. Oh, Every time I pass you the remote, you get bit. <laughs>